Hey guys, today we are going to look at perpendicular lines and equations. We're going to answer the question, how do I tell if linear equations are perpendicular and how do I write the equations of perpendicular lines? So remember that perpendicular lines have opposite reciprocal slopes. So the first thing that we will need to do to write the equations of perpendicular lines is determine the slope of the given line. Then we will find the perpendicular slope by flipping the fraction and changing the sign of that slope to find the perpendicular or opposite reciprocal slope. Then we will use that perpendicular slope and the point to write the equation of the line. And we'll use point slope form or slope intercept form and solve for b to do that. Let's think about perpendicular to the x and the y axis. So with these types of situations, it's going to be helpful to sketch out a picture. So if we have a line that is perpendicular to the x axis, or any other horizontal line, that is going to be a vertical line with an undefined slope and an x equals equation. So the x-axis is horizontal. If we're perpendicular to that, it's a vertical line. So it's going to have an x equals equation. And then a line that is perpendicular to the y-axis or any other vertical line will be a horizontal line with a zero slope and a y equals equation. So the y-axis is vertical. Perpendicular to that would be a horizontal line, so it'll have a y equals equation. And like I said, we'll sketch those out to help us make sense of them. Let's look at writing equations, though. This one says, write the equation of a line in slope-intercept form that is perpendicular to y equals x plus 5 and goes through 3, 2. So I need to be perpendicular to this equation here. The slope of this equation is 1. And the perpendicular slope to positive 1 is negative 1. 1 over 1 and negative 1 over 1 are opposite reciprocal slopes. So the perpendicular slope that we'll need to use is negative 1. And then they gave me the point 3, 2. So now I want to write an equation with the perpendicular slope and this point. So I'm going to use point slope form for this one. So it'll be y minus 2, since the y value is 2, equals negative 1 times x minus 3. And now I just need to convert it to slope-intercept form. So I get y minus 2 equals negative x plus 3. And then the last step to get y by itself is to add 2. So I get y equals negative x plus 5 for that perpendicular equation. Okay, number two, I want to write the equation of a line in slope-intercept form that is perpendicular to x plus 5y equals 15 and goes through 0, 1. So the first thing I need to do is determine the slope of this equation. So I'm going to convert it to slope-intercept form by subtracting x. And I get 5y equals negative x plus 15 and then divide by 5. So I get y equals negative 1 fifth x plus 3. So the slope of this equation is negative 1 fifth. I need the perpendicular slope to that since I'm writing a perpendicular equation. The perpendicular slope to negative 1 fifth is positive 5. So I'm going to use 5 for the slope. And then they gave me the point. And if you notice this point, the x value is 0. So they actually gave me the y-intercept here. I have m and I have b, so now I can write the equation in slope-intercept form. It would just be y equals 5x plus 1. Okay, number three, I need to write the equation of a line in slope-intercept form that is perpendicular to 2x minus 5y equals negative 10 and goes through 4, negative 5. So first thing I need to do is determine the slope of this equation by converting it to slope-intercept form. So I'm going to subtract 2x and I get negative 5y equals negative 2x minus 10. And then we're going to divide by negative 5. And I get y equals 2 fifths x plus 2. 
So the slope of this equation is two fifths, but I need the perpendicular slope to that to be able to write my perpendicular equation. So perpendicular to two fifths would be negative five halves. So I'm going to use negative five halves and then this given point for negative five to write my equation in slope intercept form. So I could plug into point slope form like I did here. I'm just gonna show you a different way this time by plugging into y equals mx plus b and solving for b. So y is negative five. The slope is negative five halves. The x value is four and then plus b. So now negative five halves times four, that would be negative 20 over two, which is negative 10. So negative five equals negative 10 plus b. And now I'm going to add 10 and I get that five equals b. So I have the slope, I have the y-intercept, so now I can write it in slope-intercept form. It would be y equals negative five halves x plus five. All right, number three, it says write the equation of the line that is perpendicular to the line on the grid and goes through four, three, then graph the perpendicular line. So I need two things to be able to write an equation. I need a point and the slope. They didn't give me the slope, but they gave me the graph so I can do rise over run. So the slope of this graph is two but I need the perpendicular slope. The perpendicular slope to positive two is negative one half. So I'm gonna use the point and the slope to write my equation. And this time I'm gonna do point slope form. So y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1, and then I'll convert it to slope intercept form. So it'll be y minus three equals the slope is negative one half times x minus four. So now I'm gonna distribute and I get y minus three equals negative one half x plus two. And then I'm going to add three and I get y equals negative one half x plus five. So there's the equation in slope intercept form. Now let's graph it. I have a y intercept at one, two, three, four, five, and then a negative one half slope. So that means I'm gonna go down one, right two, down one, right two. Okay, number five, write the equation of a line that goes through zero, 18, and is perpendicular to the y-axis. So let's sketch a picture of this. There's the x-axis, and here's the y-axis. So 0, 18 would be a positive y-intercept somewhere up here. And we are perpendicular to the y-axis. The y-axis is vertical, so that means it's gonna be a horizontal line. And horizontal lines have a y equals equation and the y value is 18. So perpendicular to the y-axis and going through 0, 18 would be y equals 18. Okay, number six, write the equation of a line that goes through negative seven, eight and is perpendicular to the x-axis. So there's the y-axis, here's the x-axis. And the point negative seven, eight would be in quadrant two, somewhere over here. And we are perpendicular to the x-axis. So we're going through the x-axis, which means we're gonna have an x equals equation and the x value is negative seven. Okay, number eight, write the equation of a line that is perpendicular to y equals negative eight and goes through seven, negative seven, five. So I'm going to sketch my X and Y axis. I have a line Y equals eight. That means it's a horizontal line going through Y equals eight. 
and then I have a point negative seven five that is somewhere in quadrant two. And I am perpendicular to this blue line. That blue line was horizontal, so that means I'm gonna be vertical. So if I'm perpendicular to a y equals equation, it's going to be an x equals equation, and the x value that I'm going through is negative seven based on the ordered pair. Okay, then last one, write the equation of a line that is parallel or perpendicular to x equals negative five and goes through negative 11, 12. So let's sketch our x and y axis. So it's going through x equals negative five. And I want to, oh, and then I have a point negative 11, 12. So in quadrant two, and I'm perpendicular to this blue line. That blue line was vertical, so the perpendicular line would be horizontal. So it's gonna have a y equals equation, and the y value was 12.